Hey, my name's Jake, and for this video I want to show you how you can use 808 samples in Logic Pro X and how you can do it fast using the Alchemy Synth. So, before we had the Alchemy Synth in Logic Pro X, what you had to do was you had to drag the... You had, you had to find an 808 sample, and then you either click Flex Pitch or you use a Tuner plugin. This was the previous method. Then you have to find the root note. So, it's in G-sharp, then you have to export it. But not only that, once you export it, the issue with that is that um, it's not scaled. So if I take out my keyboard, and let me just lower the volume for a second. Sorry about that. So here's the 808. This is what it sounds like. But if you're making this kind of music, anything that needs an 808 sub that's distorted, you're going to want to scale it. So if I'm pressing another key because I want it to be in a higher pitch, it doesn't work. The problem with that is it's inconvenient. So you have to open up the sample, uh, the sampler in the edit mode. Then you have to put it into the right root note. Then you have to drag this and scale it. Hold on. And then you have to find the center point. It's just a mess. And I, I really just, I never liked that method. So I'll show you a different way of using the 808. First things first you need to pull up the Alchemy Synth. Sorry for the dogs barking. Um, so here, you click, if you don't have an initialized patch, just click File, Clear. It should give you a fresh, clean patch. So you're in Global Tabs, and you go to Advanced View, by the way, if you don't know that. Just click in Source A, click in this bar, click in Import Audio, and wherever the file is, you just drag it in here. So, for example, I have the file here, 808, base, A overdrive. <laughs> okay. Now, you drag it over here. Before you click import, make sure you choose sampler, and the mapping is pitch. The reason why it's important to do this is because when you, when you click the mapping as being pitched, now the 808 sample is scaled automatically. And the, the really beautiful thing about this method is that you don't have to manually detect the pitch of the sample. So, oh, one more thing. You want to make sure that you go in global and you use one voice. I hope this video helped, and don't forget to comment, subscribe, and take care.